What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to new video guys. So today we are actually getting some wheels installed. As you guys can see from the B-roll, um, we got some tires. Now I have to kind of explain myself a little bit. So I ended up deciding to go with 17s, um, mainly because I already had a set of 17 inch apexes, brand new 17 inch apexes, as well as rear tires. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I got 17 by nine ET30, 17 by nine and a half ET35. So uh, that's gonna be in the rear. And I also got 255, 40, 17 tires in the rear. I ended up already having a set of 255, 40, 17 tires. Uh, so I'm gonna throw those onto the rear and I bought myself some 245 40 17s. Uh, we're gonna see how it looks. Mainly I'm doing this set because I already have everything and theoretically it should be a perfect fitment with five mil spacers. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the tires today. Um, and another day, uh, I'm gonna have them actually put onto the car. I'm gonna put them onto the car probably in like two days. Kind of busy. Uh, I just had time right now to drop off the wheels and tires at the tire shop. So that is the plan. I'm really excited to finally get a set of nice wheels on here. It's really quick actually. We just pretty much finished the engine swap and then like a week and a half later, I'm already putting on the wheels. So uh, hopefully you guys understand why I'm going with 17s. I know 18s are personally my favorite, but because I'm gonna be trying to push power in the future, um, I figured 17s would be a nice shot to go with. Um, and if anything, I'll end up upgrading to 18s later. Uh, but for now, I already have the set. So yeah, that is why we're going with 17s. Really just excited to see how it's gonna look. I might have to raise the rear just a little bit uh, for it to be perfect, perfect fitment. So we're gonna see about that. For the meantime though, uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, drop the tires and wheels off at the tire shop, and I will catch you guys in another day when they're all installed. So I apologize I'm not getting that type of footage uh, just with my schedule right now. It's not really possible, but you guys will see those wheels uh, in just a second. So let's go ahead, uh, hop into dropping off the tires and wheels, installing them the next day. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alrighty guys, so we got the tires and the wheels installed now. I kind of wanted to go over the specs of what the exact specs I used were. So I believe I already mentioned it, but just to go over it again. Um, so the wheels are 17 by nine ET30, 17 by nine and a half ET35, 255, 40, 17 in the rear, 245, 40, 17 in the front with a five mil spacer on both the front and on the rear. So I do like how the rear looks with the five mil spacer, but I think I might end up taking off the five mil spacer on the front just because it pokes out a little bit. I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, a video of what I'm talking about. It does poke out just a tiny bit, so I think I might take it off. Uh, but if I take off, then I kind of have to mess with the alignment again. We'll see what I decide to do with that in the future. Uh, but for now, whole fitment, I've had it on for about a month and a half now. I have been taking a break from YouTube, uh, so that is why it's been a month and a half. But I've been running these uh, for a month and a half, and uh, they've been really, really great. I love the 17 look, actually. Uh, the ride quality is much, much uh, better. It's a little bit bouncy, but it's bouncy because of the tires. Um, and bouncy in a good way where it's not like crazy, like or if you hit like a pothole, it's gonna be boom like that. And it's less likely to crack as well, actually, from that. Uh, so I do like the 17s. I like the meaty look. I'm very happy with how it rides right now. These tires I have in the rear are pretty, pretty grippy. They're not too, too bad. I can do a pull 
second gear pull and it's not gonna lose traction, which is really nice. Um, I do plan on pushing more power on this car though. So we might end up rolling our fenders in the future and maybe you're doing two 275, 35, 17s in the rear or something to that effect. Um, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna do more research into it and see, but uh, I do plan on pushing more power. So maybe in the future, I'll put, I'll rock some bigger tires in the rear. Um, but for now, I think I would have to roll my fenders though. So I will double check on that. Uh, but for now, I'm very happy with how this sits currently. I'm gonna get some more video clips for you guys. Um, honestly, just all in all, really excited. Uh, finally got some nice wheels on this car. With my cars, I tend to like to do suspension and wheels first and then go from there. I like the car to be sitting right. Uh, once it sits right, the car just feels way, way better. Uh, definitely, definitely a must do. Let me go ahead and get some more video clips for you guys uh, and then we might just end it right there making a nice little short video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get some B-roll for you guys. I also wanted to give a huge shout out to ProTech Auto. Um, they really hooked it up for me when it came to installing the wheels and tires. Um, there was also another issue. While I dropped off the tires, I still had my old wheels on and I was driving and my axles actually fell off. Both sides of my axles, well actually one of my axles fell out of the diff and the other ones were loose. So looks like the previous owner who had this car um, ended up installing axles and didn't tighten the bolts all the way. So they actually popped off while I was driving. I left me stranded I had to wait for a tow truck for like three hours finally 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 got the car towed after a long long night and dropped it off at ProSec they really helped me out they went ahead and installed the axles properly as well um, and installed my wheels and tires at the same time um, and they hooked it up for a great price so if you're in the Sacramento area go check out ProTech Auto I'll leave them down below their Instagram down below definitely go check them out I'll go ahead and throw up some clips as well of what happened so it's kind of funny I was with my my family um, out of from out of state and uh, they wanted to see the 335 so we were driving this is the first time they were in here um, after five minutes of going down these country roads uh, <laughs> After five minutes of going down the country roads, the, the axles popped out um, and I went and I was shifting, I was trying to shift and like I would press the gas, um, but I was in gear. So I was like in first gear uh, with like the clutch out and everything and pressing the gas and it was like I was in neutral. So I lost all gears because of the axle um, that had fallen out. So yeah, it was not exactly the best experience to uh, show some family what was up with the car. So it was kind of embarrassing, but it's okay. We got it figured out. All right, guys. So I'm on the side of the road. I got my car full of Hello. people, <laughs> my, my cousins and my uncle and my sister. And uh, we were driving and uh, literally the axle blew. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. Like we were literally at a stoplight and I put it into first gear and went to go and uh, yeah, my axle decided to go bye-bye. And let me show you guys underneath the car here. Watch out. And if you guys look under here, you can kind of see, literally blew off somehow. So I don't know how that happened. Bruh. Literally somebody just did not put them on right. That's crazy. This side is literally falling out as well. They're literally loose. Like, look at this one right here. Completely loose. So all of that happened as well while we were getting the tires mounted to the wheels. Uh, so hopefully that kind of clears up what happened. Anyway, the car is running flawlessly now. 
very, very excited to actually uh, be able to properly enjoy this thing. I got daily content coming out on Instagram. I've been posting every single day on there. So definitely go check that out, guys. With all that being said, make sure to go check me out on Instagram. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it down below. I'll also leave all these specs down below of how my current setup is. I'm also on KW coilovers. So they are a nice set of coilovers. Uh, that is also helping with how the car feels. I'll leave links to everything so you guys can check it out if you guys want to. But yeah, with that being said, remember guys to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later. Oh.